Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So we've got a few little things on today and I thought I'd bring you along. First things first, I'm getting my hair done for the first time in honestly like five or six months. It has been so long. I wanted to let her grow, have a moment. I'm also really trying to focus on my hair growth and take my hair growth vitamins and blah, 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 blah. That's why I haven't been in a while. Just wanted to let her get a little bit healthy. But I think I'm gonna touch up the color because this is like getting, obviously, I've just had a shower but like it is pretty dark compared to like the rest of my hair it's just looking a little bit like outgrown so i'm gonna go and see jess at coco 21 she is just the best i've seen her for like three years and i love her she always does such a good blonde oh my gosh this room is such a mess <laughs> So normally when I go to the hairdressers, I take my makeup and do it after they're finished because I really like to enjoy like the massage at the basin without having to worry about if my makeup is being like washed off. You know that feeling where it's like you've just done your makeup and your face is just getting so wet at the basin? And it also makes for great before and afters of your hair if it's just like... A complete glow up so we love that so I'm just gonna pack some makeup it also means I don't have to do it this morning and I can do it once we're finished also oh my gosh I'm nearly finished with this book I'm reading it ends with us I am so obsessed like I feel like I'll finish this today it's like getting to a point where everything is so juicy and so fun to read like I was even talking to Ella about it yesterday and it's just like watching a movie like I don't think I've ever read a book so just like everything is it's just written so well that it literally doesn't even feel like reading which is the best in my opinion i don't feel like i've ever gotten stuck or like bored of the book i was reading the silent patient for so long but i never finished it because i just got like so bored of it and i know there's like this amazing twist and like everyone said it's worth reading but far out i'm like stuck because i'm so bored i'm also quickly gonna run to the post office this morning so you guys know with my business i have a courier come to the house which is so helpful but with express orders i have to go and drop it off so there's been an express order last night and so i just want to get it out first thing in the morning also the weirdest thing happened the other day and i feel like i need to talk about it because i am so confused the other day i was looking for my dry shampoo which ella gave me and it's like brand new dry shampoo i never take it anywhere i never like leave it in spots that it's not supposed to be it's always in like the same spot and so i'm looking for my dry shampoo like on the weekend because my hair was disgusting from the gym and i can't find it anywhere like it is literally not in any spot in the bathroom not in my bags nowhere i was even saying to geordie i was like where have you put it i know you've put it somewhere because it is not anywhere else it can't be anywhere else it was not anywhere to be found at all and i'm describing it to him and i was like babe i don't even know what dry shampoo is and i was like what is going on and then two days later i find it in the exact same spot that it was meant to be in the exact same spot like when you open the drawer it is right there like standing up easy to reach it is right there and so i am so confused i fully believe geordie he would not have touched it he does not know what dry shampoo is he would never use it that to me is really freaky so now i've come to the conclusion that it's probably like a mandela effect or something that's the story of my missing dry shampoo i am procrastinating i need to get ready what else do i need to pack for the hairdressers literally going to the hairdressers feels like a full-on day trip which I kind of love, like changes up my work scenery because I can take my laptop and get some work done while I'm there. Oh my gosh, this room looks like a bomb's hit it. <laughs> this is literally the best diary on the planet. It's from Steph Pays Planners and I did pre-order the new 2023 ones. Very excited. The biggest sale of the entire year for the business starts next Tuesday. And I, in my brain, I thought Black Friday was like a month away. So I really should have been like thinking about it just a little bit more. We just had like the frenzy sale. So once that was done, I was like, oh God, I can just like chill out for a bit. And then it's like, no, you cannot. 
Oh yeah, this is the fit for today. Let me show you. Comfy, cute. I'm gonna be hanging out at the hairdressers. I've actually done a massive order from Shopo, which has arrived and I want to show you everything. It looks so cute. I feel like I'm just tangenting today, but look at this. This is literally my favorite thing in the world. Geordie made it when he was like five years old at after school care. He somehow kept it and then he gave it to me. I'm like, that is just like the sweetest thing ever. I'm also gonna pack some lunch. If you saw my Instagram stories, you would have seen this amazing curry, obviously all from Hello Fresh. I'm gonna take that one for lunch. This is the thing at the hairdressers. You've gotta come prepared, girl. You really do. Anyway, I'll head to the post office now and I'll see you at the hairdressers. I'm so excited. I've just gotten to the hairdressers, but I got here so early. So I thought I'd show you the inspo. So I've decided I'm gonna show my hairdresser this photo of Soph. I think her hair looks so good in this photo. Literally Pinterest energy, I love it. This is stunning. And I think I'll ask for like money pieces at the front. I think that would be so cute. But I'm loving like that caramel honey blonde instead of like the bright white blonde, which I usually go for. So something a little bit different, but I'll go in, I'll see what she thinks, get her opinion if it's something doable with my hair, because what the fuck is this? That looks like a doorknob. The, these two hair colors, like they don't match, you know? So that is what we're gonna be doing. Get rid of this disgusting. I can see it in my head. It's better than the others. I know it could be the best. Yeah, I could be a lover. You don't cross my mind because you're living it. If you were all mine, it'd be a day. Maybe let me love you. Yeah, I want to be a lover. So, motion for I've just come back from the hairdresser. I feel so good. I love this. Jess killed it. We went for more of a honey sort of blonde rather than like a light, bright blonde, which I would usually do. One second, let me grab someone very important. Look at my big baby. Oh, you see my big baby. Say hi to your friends. As I mentioned earlier, I did receive a big package from Shopo and I wanted to sit down and chat through everything with you, do a bit of a try on because Shopo is actually having a Black Friday sale and I didn't want you guys to miss out on all the good discounts. So I'll leave the information below along with the links and also all of the pieces that I'm wearing in this video with my sizes, I'll pop that down below too. But if you haven't heard of Shopo, they're like the OG Australian fashion brand. I swear, like I used to shop with them when I was like 14 years old. So they do stock sizes four to a size 20, which is amazing. So there's definitely something in here for everyone. And the styles that I've picked, I'm so excited to show you. I've a bunch of like Christmas inspired pieces but also some casual summer pieces. They also do free express shipping and free returns which is amazing. Let's get right on into it. So the first few pieces I picked up to kind of mix and match. Um, so take with this what you will but I think these will look really cool. I saw this on the website as a pair and I was like yes this is gorgeous. So I actually picked up this set of corduroy shorts and a corduroy button up long sleeve, which I'm so into these sorts of shirts. Like I feel like they're just such a staple to go over any outfit. I'm going to pair these corduroy shorts with this long sleeve white top. Again, this was on the website, so it looked really cute, but it's kind of like a cropped long sleeve. I just think these two together is beautiful and also very sun safe, which we love. I just feel like these shorts in particular, I'm gonna get so much wear out of during summer. They are so cute. The material feels great and these will be so comfy to wear. The next shorts I picked up are honestly just a staple to have in your wardrobe, which are some high rise white denim shorts. Again, this just goes with everything. We love versatility here. And these are the shorts that I really wanna pair with this top here and just a summer staple I love these colors the next set I got I am so excited about I actually saw this on an ad ages ago and I saved it because I was like this is stunning 
for Christmas or like Christmas parties. <gasps> I'm so excited for this, holy moly. So this is the set. It's kind of like these trouser pants, really thick, durable material. This feels amazing with a matching little crop. And I just love this fabric. This is so cool. I just think if you want to do like a Christmas outfit that's a little bit different to like your classic dress. Not gonna lie, I did pick up some beautiful classic dresses, but I think this is such a cool option and I would definitely be wearing this to like some parties or like on Christmas day, I don't know. This is just stunning, I love it. Oh, and it's got pockets. Then I picked up a couple of dresses because coming into this festive season, I just needed some options and I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of all of these over the next month or so. But the first one is just the most perfect Christmas dress. Are you kidding me? I love these spaghetti straps. This material is so thick. I love it, but this is definitely gonna be like me hanging out on Christmas day. Yes, please. Do you wanna know the best part? It's got pockets. The dress has pockets. What a good day to be alive. Honestly, I love this. I love this length, I love this color. You can literally just see in the camera how beautiful and bright and vibrant this red is. My next little Christmas dress is this beautiful lace white number and I'm just so in love with this. I feel like this is having Christmas brunch with your family. It is modest but it is also super cute. I'm obsessed with this. This beautiful detail. Stunning. She's glam, she is gorgeous. I love this so much. Um, definitely going in my suitcase for Christmas, that is for sure. Okay, and then the last piece I picked up, I could not go past this and I think it's probably my favorite thing I own now. And it is this incredible dress, which is this strapless mini dress. It also has a little slit up the side, which is really cute, but I couldn't get over this really cool pattern. I really hope you can see it through the camera, but it literally looks like it's made of gold, which I love. I just thought this was nice and different and also a nice like gold sort of approach to Christmas. Rather than just red and green, this is still so beautiful. So I'll definitely be wearing this to a Christmas party. I just love these colors, like the turquoise and the gold obsessed. So if you like any of these pieces that I mentioned, I'll pop them all down below along with any other details about the sale that you may need to know. Definitely go and check it out. Help yourself to some beautiful Christmas outfits just in time. As I said, free express shipping. So if you're watching this a bit closer to Christmas, you're covered. But a big thank you to Shopo for sponsoring this part of today's vlog. Honestly, they did my hair so fast. I feel like I wasn't there for as long as I expected, which is awesome. So I'm coming home and having my lunch now. I also bought this from the hairdresser while I was there today because they were spraying my hair and this spray felt so good and not like crunchy and it smelled amazing. So I ended up buying some. It's by a brand called Evo because my hairspray at the moment is embarrassing. I literally think it's like black and gold. I'm embarrassed. Please don't tell my hairdresser that I use that. <laughs> Lunch is ready. A new episode of the Kardashians is out, so I reckon I'll watch that while I eat. But I also don't know why more people aren't talking about what, like the language that they're using on Keeping Up With The Kardashians in the last few episodes has literally been shocking. So if you haven't seen the last few episodes, they are so toxic and I just hope anyone watching them is aware of how, I, I can't think of another word apart from toxic, like the way that they're currently talking about diet and exercise is beyond me. I cannot believe this stuff made it to air. For me watching it, I can definitely take things with a grain of salt and kind of laugh at the fact that like how ridiculous it is. But unfortunately, some people watching it may not feel the same. There's a hair, sorry. <laughs> but it's kind of around like the Met Gala and Kim losing a certain amount of pounds to get in this Marilyn Monroe dress. It shouldn't be so glorified doing these extreme things for your body to fit inside a dress. And she was saying, oh, the replica fits me perfectly, but I have to wear the original one. I'm sure we'll get more 
in this episode that's just come out that I haven't seen yet it is of the actual Met Gala itself. But so far, the language around food and exercise is just so disgusting. And I hope anyone watching this does not take advice from the Kardashians, please. Why aren't the producers like kind of reading the room? Ugh. I think everything after that article came out in the New York Post, if you know the one that I'm talking about, you know. What the fuck is wrong with people? Like, don't put this in a show. I haven't seen anybody comment on it at all. That's all. <laughs> I just got a PR package from goodness me. Ooh. <gasps> this is a natural hand wash. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get so much use out of that. Ooh. At least tea bags, cleansing and humidity boosting. Beautiful. And a little cute mini box. Oh my gosh, fun. I love their beauty boxes. These are gorgeous. So we've got a Burt's Bees chapstick, which I literally, Jordi and I both are obsessed with these. Some skincare, shampoo, face moisturizer. Oh, natural face wipes. That is so handy. Conditioning cleanser. Is this for your hair or your face? Your hair! Collagen mascara, no way, that is so fun. And then the last thing in here are these biodegradable dental floss picks. That is so nice. Good evening. I have actually forgotten to vlog, but I did film some of dinner because I was filming for HelloFresh, but now I'm talking to my sister. No. <laughs> yeah. I've been crying. <laughs> Tilly's having a crisis. But we must send orders. <laughs> Tilly's been my virtual assistant tonight. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, don't, don't. Do not apologize, girl. Do not apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, stop apologizing. What am I meant to say? Okay. Simba and I just wanted to come on here and outro the vlog because I got to say goodbye to everybody. So pretty much in that last clip, Tilly was just having a moment for that is where whoa you're gonna fall off you're gonna fall off no one can see you up there you gotta drop down but anyway i'm just about to upload this video so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one Never make it out. I'm a five star brain in a two star town. And I'ma give it back when I have enough money in my hands. Enough for the friends and the fam. And I owe it all to Yahweh.